Hey everyone, your boy Ant here. Today we're going to make some vegan chicken and black bean burritos. Now you shouldn't be really surprised about all that if you follow this channel because when I made my black bean burger video, I made way too many black beans so I had some left over and I... You didn't see that one. <clears throat> anyway, come on. Okay, this is our vegan chicken. Now, vegan chicken is generally pre-seasoned, so you didn't see me pull out the wax paper or anything. It's also already pre-cooked, but I'm gonna throw it into the slow cooker anyway because for my burritos, I like the chicken to have a shredded consistency. See, now the chicken's all nice and shredded, and it... Oh, wait a minute. Okay, now it's all nice and shredded. Okay, now we've added our beans and the rice. And as you can see, I mixed that all together. And finally, there's the cheese. Why did I stick the cheese right on top? Well, because I like to have the cheese right on top. And the truth of the matter is, I almost forgot to add it. So let's just mix that in too. Now you already know how I make tortillas, but one thing you'll notice right away is that the tortilla is already inside the skillet. That's because we're going to build a burrito right inside the skillet. I just think it's easier to handle that way. Now right now the skillet is on medium low heat, so things won't cook too fast while I add everything to the burrito. I'll turn it up in a moment. Now you'll notice right away of how the filling is positioned. Not exactly in the middle, not exactly on the edge. What I like to call this is the right side of the left half of the tortilla. The reason I put it like that is because we're going to roll it up in a minute. I mean, it's going to be a burrito. And I think it's easier to roll it up when it's like this. So anyway, what we're going to do is increase the heat to medium high. and we're going to cook it like that for one minute and 30 seconds. Okay, what I did was completely remove the skillet from the heat. Now what we're gonna do next is take our spatula like so and roll up the tortilla. And I rolled it up a second time. Some of the filling kind of fell out here, but that's okay. And now we've returned it to the heat, medium-high heat, that is, 1 minute and 15 seconds. Okay, I think we're in business now. Now, some people eat their burritos with salsa. I like to eat mine with a little bit of sour cream. I have no words. This is beyond delicious. Wait, those are words. Okay, that'll do it. If you want the recipe for this, you know where to look. Thanks for being with me, and I'll see you again soon. What? What was that clicking noise? Oh, that. See, what happened is when I turned up the heat earlier, I turned it up a little too far. That happens sometimes. Bye. What? Sounded like a ticking time bomb about to blow. Yeah, that's why I have inside my house. An actual time bomb is gonna blow any minute. Huh? You know what else can blow? Man, this is a family channel. Get the